Thank you. Thank you so much. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. Let me request the chaplains to take their seats. Yeah, just to sit behind the guests who have arrived. We can also sit. Thank you. Um, praise the Lord. Happy Sabbath. Uh -uh. Nisarimia Vizuli. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. I'm happy to stand before you this morning, praising the Lord for his love and care. And also, as I announced yesterday, that today we were to have a very special exercise. Allow me uh, thank the Lord for enabling us to reach this far. And appreciate the chaplain's team for um, leading us through the exercise. Uh, our guests are here, and because we don't want to interrupt the normal camp program, they are here for a few minutes, then we proceed as, as part of the program. Let me allow us to do some introduction, brief one, then we proceed from there on uh, how it, the program runs. Thanks and welcome. Um, in fighting our chaplain's head to greet us, she's Alice Nami. She heads the chaplain's department in this church. Sister Alice, kindly say hi. Good morning. Hi. Be blessed. Thank you so much. We we have our. Colleague, my colleague, Pastor Samson Osando, is here. He has read this team. But before he stands, let me request the chaplain's team to stand and wave. Amen. Receive greetings from this team, please. Thanks. Uh, let me invite Pastor, kindly take over. Tell us how you have come and what do we have today. Amen. Happy Sabbath. Mungu atukuzwe kwa mabomaku upendo wake ulitupa Yesu ali yejito amaisha yake to when now uzima wa milele msifu msifu dunia siki a msifu watu wa Bwana Yesu mwana Uze kwa mambo yote Kama umebarikiwa na mikono na unaweza ukaniona naomba ufanye hivi Happy Sabbath Turn to your neighbor and tell her you are already sealed Thank you. Um, I'm Pastor Samson Onyancha. Nilianza kwa kuimba wimbo wenu ndio mjue sisi ni wenzenu. How do you feel now? Amen. Um, nafanya kazi na Kenya Prison Service. Na najifunia sana kwa sababu imenisaidia sana even I growing in the work of faith. The Lord has opened for us great doors. And if you can't see, come and see. With me, um, all my colleagues, tungeva uniform wengine wange kata kuingia church to kasema, wacha tukuje na suit, ndio wana hawa ni wa, wa shiriki wenzao. With me is a, a probation officer. Naomba asimame, awasalimie. Sister, please. 
ni mkubwa sana kwa ofisi sasa hizi ndio amepatikana yes you can come Happy Sabbath. Happy uh, mimi si wa kanisa but I'm happy to be here. I'm glad that we are here today for a good cause and I'm hoping that the day will go as planned. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, together with me also is brother Shafwa. Please come. In prisons we have people we called social welfare officers. It's one of them. Please greet us. Hello. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uh, my name is Shakwa Cedric. I uh, work in the Kenya prison as a welfare officer. Barikiwe sana. And he's a good singer leading praise and worship. And then uh, we have also another social welfare officer by the name Florence. Nikienda kwa wananiita Kosovinde. Karibu. Hallelujah church. Hallelujah church. My name is Florence To. I work for Kenya Prison Service. I'm the welfare officer and I also am a Seventh Day Adventist. I fellowship at Lovington Church. God bless you. So the two people that I called welfare officers if you happen to have a brother or a sister in prison who is having some meals there for a few days those are the people who can help you reach them and know how they are faring. Thank you so much, sisters. And the other is the one who helps us to help the integrate one unto his home. Um, I have my colleague, my pastor, is heading the Protestant church. We are very good friends. Please, pastor, speak. Good morning. morning. Happy Sabbath. Bwana Sifiwe. Uh, by name, I'm Joseph Omala. I'm a chaplain at Jamuri Prison, working together with Pastor Samson. And uh, here we are. Thank you so much for the invite. Thank you. Um, I started by saying, I'm Samson Onsando Onyancha. By profession, I'm a prison officer. And by calling, I'm a pastor. Um, the reason as to why we are, we are here today is that uh, we have our brother, whom when we looked at him, he was worthy to come home. Then we said we bring him home in style. And he's here with us. I know some of you are asking, Mbona Aja introduced the choir. The choir is coming to sing in your Mwajwe. Wanaitua Faraja choir. Okay, um, in prison, we have an integration uh, arm whereby we teach people and we have camp meetings like this. After people have accepted Jesus Christ, we baptize them, we give them baptismal certificates, and we nurture them in the growth. And when their time has come for them to go home, back to their families, we help them by giving them a kickstart. Today we are here to give this machine that is called a sewing machine to our brother, Muraidi Moses. I don't know where he has sat. Yes, there he is. He was our leader in uh, SDA. He was leading our people in SDA. So don't be marveled, rather amazed, what have these people come to do. We have come here for your goodness. Because in Isaiah chapter 40, the Lord said, comfort my people. Now, we are trying to comfort those who are heartbroken. When they are going home, they have the heart to start life without meandering. Um, allow me to present to you friends with us who are partnered with us. But that's not my job. That will be the job done by my best friend and my boss. 
So ukiona amefaa suti, umkute kesho na kesho na uniform usishindwe. How comes last time you were in a, in a suit? Uh, is uh, my boss in Jamhuri? If you come there, you will find him in the office. Is Elder Eliud Opilo. He fellowships at Lovington Church. Please, Elder, you're welcome. Praise God, Church. Praise God, Hallelujah. Praise God, Amen. Praise God, Hallelujah. Praise God, Amen. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Majina ni upilo vile our pastor amesema. Kabla sijaendelea, ningependa sana kumshukuru you are or our host pastor, Pastor Ouko. Kwa makaribisho makubwa tangu tuanze hii safari. Hatujaanza leo. Tulipompeleka mwenzetu pale kwao nyumbani, alikuwa nasi. So kabla sija introduce wale wako hapa mbele, Ningependa mureithi usonge mbele na familia kidogo Ndiyo the congregant ukuona tafadhali Just come next to pastor here Members wale wamekucha na mureithi Karibu haba mbele Please Can you stand here Tusimame haba Kucheni kucheni wasasi Nashukuru sana kwa file umekuja. Last time tulipo enda nyumbani file kiongozi anasema mulitupokea vizuri na kweli mume extend the love even to the church. Amen. Karibu. Thank you very much. So kabla muredi ya jawasalimia ningependa tu kido kuwapatia background two minutes. Muredi ni wenu hapa wangong na kulingana na hali ya maisha aliweza kupatikana na mambo ambayo maybe serikali yeku kubali. So, alipo letua magerezani pale, amekua industrial area, Nairobi West, na baadae Jamuhuri. Alipokuwa Jamuhuri, tuangalia mienendo zake, tabia zake, tukona amerekebika. Actually, alikuwa head elder wa Jamuhuri prison, kitambo, aweze kuachiliwa. Na tuko hapa, sisi kama serikali pia, kusema asante kwake na washirika wengine nitawaelezea baadaye ili tumshike mkono aweze pia kupata jinsi ya kukaa na nyinyi kama member of the society ambaye anajitegemea haleluya kanisa ningependa tafadhali my brothers introduce tu kidogo hapo alafu muweze kuketi just a name in the interest of time habari zenu mimi naitwa Samuel Keroga Washira mimi ni brother to Moses uh, ingawa tuko mbali sana na yeye lakini ni ndugu yetu ambaye tunampenda na tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kila kitu ambacho Mungu anafanya katika maisha yake na, uh, na vile kanisa imetumika na Mungu kufanya katika maisha yake so kutoka wakati walikuja last time tulimpokea na tukamwambia karibu nyumbani kwa sababu ni damu yetu na ni ndugu yetu na tunampenda so god bless you Bona asituwe. Nasanti mm, sana kwa kunikaribisa mahali hapa. Sijawai kuona matendo kama haya. Ninaona mungu anainiwa kweli. Unajua mama akiona mtoto yake anakama kiwete, anasikitika katika roho yake. Lakini mwiso ya gisa ni muangasa. Mi naona mkono wa mungu ukiniinua. Hii ni First ball, kijana ya kwanza, mtoto ya, ya kijana na mtsana. Na wakati mahali ya napitia, nyuma yake naona mkono wa mungu. Na mimi, nilikuwa nasoma madiko kuhusu Paulu. Naona Paulu alikuwa nateseka sana kufanya kasi baya. Lakini mwiso yake, mungu waka muongelesa, akawa mtumisi wake waneno la, ya, ya kweli. Mi naona mkono wa mungu, nasema ni asandi sana. Kanisa, 
Muka na ifo, muwe wachungaji na mutafata kodoa wa mungu, msunge. Mwana asifu ya kanisa, mimi kwa majina naito Margaret, Moses ni mbrado yangu ya ni first born, mimi biodad. Nina shukuru sana kwa makalibu iso yenu, Tume shukuru sana na tumeona ukalimu wenu. Tume to, yani hatuwe, hatuwezi kusema santi, lakini mungu di anajua vile mnetenda. Tume sema ni asanti na mungu wazidi kwa bariki. Tume shukuru salikari yetu, pia na kanisa. Asanti. Mbwana asipi ya kanisa. Kwa majina na ito Ahana na mimi sister ya Moses. Asanti. God is good, and all the time. La kaza mwendo binguni kila siku na panda ju na ombani kisa fili bana uniongo the ju bana bana uni. Inu eju kwa imani hata bingu Nuku hiko dunia Bwana uli yongo zeju God is good Kwa majina na ito Moses Muridhi wa Shira Brothers, sisters, ingawaji wa hawa kuja wote tuko wengi Tuko tisa. Kwa hivyo, mimi liyo mkubwa ya hawa, na chukuru sana kwa sababu mungu wa mentoa bali. Nilikuwa kati ya moja ambaya lipewa mali na baba yake. Nikaenda inchi ya bali. Nikatawanya kule. Nikafanya usherati. Usherati ukanigeuza. Ukainigiza katika giza. Lakini kuingia katika giza, Bwana akaniona nikiwa katika giza, akanitoa katika giza. Ndiyo sababu nimesimama hivi kwa ushujaa nikijua kwamba Bwana nitegemeo langu. Hivyo na mchukuru Mungu, tutashirikiana nyinyi, nitakuwa kielelezo chema mbele ya watu ambao walitenda makosa na Mungu akawageuza wakaingia katika njia ya kuingia katika ufalme wa mbinguni. Amen. Asante. Asante sana, Muraidi. As we have the chaplaincy team and the prison team, mkuja tuwata nyinyi, I will now kindly introduce Pastor Selina. Mkuja uteremuke pale chini, utusalimie pia briefly. Ndiyo tuenlena the remaining part of the program. Pastor Selina is one of our supporters pale kwa prison. Na hii safari tulianza nae. Wacha tusikia sauti yake tafadhali. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come and just fellowship with you, even if it's five minutes, as we celebrate even what God is doing in Moses' life. We are grateful to God, and we are grateful to all of you. God bless you so much. Amen. Back to Hapo. And then uh, we'll now have the Chief Executive Officer, Faraja Foundation. And uh, I will allow her to step down. Pastor, ukiendelea ku fix mic. I would just want to make a few remarks. Kabla onge. Ya kwanza, on behalf of the prisons department, we want to thank Faraja for the journey that they have allowed themselves to work with the department. Muridhi is not the first case. Case ya kwanza, tulipereka one of our ex-offenders, Hadi, Western Province in Bungoma. We want to thank you very much and Mbarikiwe. Uh, Jen, just before you speak to the membership of the church, I would want also to encourage you. You all know that our strategic plan, Saizi, in the next five years, in Asema, I will do what? I will do what? To Shikane Mekono, to Peane, message Revelation 13 and 14. Ili Mokozi eze kufanya nini? Hallelujah, Kanisa. Wahayo machache, I'm now inviting Jane, 
before maybe she proceeds, I introduce her team and then she'll make brief remarks and then we'll hand over whatever small present that we have for Moredi, Isaac Wanzia Maisha. Thank you very much, Jen. Thank you, Pastor Uku. Asante. My team, please come here and join me. To my fry, to my leo. To my fry, to my fry. Kwa sababu, ile kazi mungu wa metupatia ni kufariji wale wako kwa magereza. Watajitanda majina zao kidogo. Alafu, diyo tendele. Let's say your name. Majina naitwa Emmanuel Kidiga nafanya kazi na Faraja kwa kitengo cha udadisi na mawasiliano. Asante. Praise God Church. My name is Christine Odero. I work for Faraja Foundation. I'm the program's coordinator. Praise God. My name is Joseph Guchu. I work at Faraja Foundation. Uh, my main job there, I assist uh, ex-offenders to get back home through a reintegration process that includes giving them some toolkits to start life, supporting them also with counseling, uh, doing mediation at family level because some, sometimes they have challenges down there, and that's what we do across the country. Thank you. My name is Naitwa Jen. I'm the leader of that team. Jen Kuria. I'm the leader of that team. My name is Naitwa Jen. I'm the leader of that team wakiwa ndani na haswa wakitoka nje tunashirikiana na serikali na Kenya prisons na probation na hata kuna children's department suji kama tunaelewa pia kuna watoto wako kwa institutions pia kwa magereza kuna watoto wengi sana by the way wako huko na tunawasaidia kurudi shule na counseling na, kuanza, na kutafuta familia na kuunganisha pamoja tunajua Mungu amesema wale wanatembelea wale wako kwa magereza amebarikiwa si ndio na sisi tunaamini Mungu ametubariki na ametupatia nafasi kusaidia mtu kama Samuel hivi Moreithi kwa sababu ukishaingia kwa magereza mkenya wa kawaida anasema huyu ni muhalifu huyu ni mwizi hawezi kubadilika lakini sisi tunajua second chance ukipatiwa nafasi ya pili kila mtu anahitaji nafasi ya pili si ndio hivyo hata kanisa kazi yake ni kupatia watu nafasi ya pili na ya tatu. Kwa hivyo kama mmeambiwa tunafanya kazi mtu akiwa ndani kwa ufupi tu Samuel amefanya skills za kushona pale jamhuri. Alianza industry tulipoambiwa hapo hapo tuko na programs pia na Robi West pia hapo kwa prison tuko na programs pale na amekuja jamhuri ndio ajitayarishe kwenda nyumbani. Na tukaambiwa anaweza kushona pia pale jamhuri ameendifundisha kushona na sasa tumesema tunataka kumempower kumpatia hiyo nafasi aanze maisha yake na tunaamini amerekebishwa ya kutosha kwa hivyo tunampatia mashini leo ya kushona nguo iko pale kuna material kidogo tuleta hapa tumpatie officially na tunataka kuambia wa Kenya saa ingine watu hukosea si eti kwa sababu hawana nisamu nzuri ni kwa sababu ya mashida za nyumbani za unemployment poverty si eti watu ni wahalifu na mtu akiwa prisons anapatiwa nafasi ajijenge kwa hiyo machache hayo machache sijui tutafanya aje pasta tu okay okay so watu wa faraja Mlikuwa mmeambiwa sisi ni kwaya watu. Huwa sana lakini <laughs> India uniform yetu. Okay. Na fini nzuri, ni vizuri mama pia akuje hapa mbele ndio Mwenyezi hana bibi. <laughs> Utapata tu mwingine watu wako wengi. Sasa <laughs> 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 nasema mureithi hapa kuna mashini 
kuna material hapa watu suti uanze hii ya kuanza tu kuna vitu za mashini hapa na ukifanya kazi mzuri tukitembea kwako after month or two kama biashara yako ushaanza kufanya tunaweza kukusaidia kuboost kidogo na ya maana sana ni uonyeshe jamii na nchi kwa ujumla watu wanabadilika asante thank you what do you say uh, this number 10 kwa Kiswahili sijui naanza aje do you know it wane emayote imisha moyo wangu mifulizo ya baraka ina amcha shangwe ku unifunze ni kupende ni na asifiwe huo ndio utamu wa kuwa katika Kristo how do you feel if Mungu anainua roho na kuiweka mahali ambapo hakusikua because you know this one thing did you know that when Christ went to the cross he took a risk of writing each and everyone in the human economy the our names in the book then he went forward and sealed in that book with the spirit amen with that he says now that spirit amen now i want to welcome pastor that now from here he guides us maybe ameua mbuzi atuambie asante sichaua mbuzi lakini nashukuru na furaha kubwa Niruhusu niite church elders wale muko hapa kindly come we offer special prayer for one of us who has come na pia tuweze kumpokea kanisani ili tuweze kuendelea na kazi ya Bwana so elders where you can you come church elders please come quickly let's salaam let's salaam this family we I'm, I'm in charge of three churches here this is Ngong East uh, Mount Olives and Ngong Central where we are the elders are coming from all those churches and I really appreciate ya kwamba wako hapa ili tuweze kumpokea huyu so I'm requesting elder Dashmie utafanya maombi where you are oh. okay microphone you pray na familia wasonge mbele wote ila simu wasunguke so ila nyakundi ila nyakundi i'm talking kindly get a mic na endashimie muweze kuomba kwanza nashukuru sana kuona kazi ya champions asante sana Asante sana kwa yale yote mmefanya. Naamini Mungu amefanya maajabu. Asante sana kwa kichana wetu kwa kukaa kwa ndani ya kan- ya chera lakini sasa Bwana amefanya maajabu, ametoka. Ni wengi wako ndani lakini najua Mungu atawafanyia mambo mambo makuu na watakuja nje watu join. Asante sana. Ebu sisi sote tuweka ma, mawaso yetu kwako Okay eh wamesahau kitu moja walikuwa nataka kupeana ebu wapeane kwanza prison family wakati umeenda nyumbani hatujakuachilia bado tunafuata kujua was our work in vain 
So we want to tell him enda ununue uzi. But I'm coming here on Sabbath mkimaliza makambi ndio nione where are your materials. Are we together? So ukienda nyumbani fikiria tu tunaletea 1 meter. Usinletea roll 1 meter tuachie. Kila mtu akiniletea 1 meter tutakuwa tumeachia ndugu yetu something uh, ambayo ataanza nayo maisha akiwa na smile. I want to come after two months sitaenda kwake nitauliza pastor aniangalie is he paying tight? That will be the question. Uh, hallelujah once again. So sisi kama idara ya magereza ama wale wana jamhuri tulipoona what uh, Faraja has done tulika na stakeholder wetu Pastor Njeri, uh, Selina and others na tukaona kwamba akianza kazi anaweza taka kununua mafuta maybe ya charahani aongeze kama material kidogo atafute permit ya kuanza hiyo biashara na pia aweze kutafuta namna ya kuanzisha mzuri hizo shughuli za kikazi so kwa niaba ya jamhuri prison eh niweza kumtafutia kitu kidogo hapa hiyo itamsaidia kuanzisha biashara asanteni sana amen amen so so kama dipat ya chaplains ngong hill central pia wako na kitu ya compare as a, a beginning of life. Okay, na wasalima mjambo. Asante kwa kazi ambayo mmefanya kwa kutoa Mungu, Mungu awabariki sana. Asante kwa kupeana moyo wako katika nafasi katika Mungu, akubariki sana. So as chaplains we also have something to give. We have given 10,000 ili waweze kwa hard on top of what they have and they may start like amen amen thank you so ella pray kindly we want to begin our divine service uko na makambi naendelea please pray then we finish aya tuweke mawaso yetu kwa kuomba papa na mungu wetu wa mbinguni tunakuja kwako masaa ya mchana naona yale wamefanyia mtumisi wetu bwana yale watumisi wako wamefanya kwa prison na papa mmoja wetu alikuwa anapotea alikuwa na uhusiano na, na mambo mabaya alimkuta lakini baba tunashukuru kwa china lako kwa sababu amerudi kwa kondo wako wale wanakuja kwa mbinguni baba angalia papa kundi hili kubwa langong limefanya kasi kubwa wachungaji wa wa huko ndani ya chera papa nao wamefanya kasi mingi ya kuleta huyu 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 ametoka kwa chera papa amefanya kasi mzuri wote papa wa uwapariki kwa kila jambo wamefanya na papa naweka kanisa letu langongi kwa apao yako heri endere kuongoza kwa kila jambo baba makambi yetu yako yale yako mbele yetu saa hii papa na wende wetu wote na waweka kwa mkono yako na wakati watarudi manyumbani mwao papa kila saa wakipiga simu waambie wa, wa familia sawa na watoto wao wako vema Mungu tunaomba haya yote tukiamini kupitia kwa china ya Yesu Kristo mkosi na kuomba na kuamini amen kweli mwenyezi Mungu utukufu wako ni wa milele kwa maana ulitumia njia hii ili uweze kukutana na kulishika roho ya ndugu yetu Moses. Wale wote walihusika uwabariki Mwenyezi Mungu. Vyombo hivi ziko mbele yetu. Uzibariki Mwenyezi Mungu. Ili zitakazo tumika kwa ajili ya kumsaidia ndugu yetu pia kazi yake ileta utukufu kwako Mwenyezi Mungu. Safari hii ilianza hapo awali na haikuwa mbaya haijulikani kwa mipango yako kwa sababu wewe uona mwisho ukiwa mwanzo. Ndio maana masaa haya sisi wote tumejikabidi mikononi mwako. Ili 
Tunaweza kuwa kwa njia moja ama nyingine tuko katika jela ya dambi. Tuachilie huru Mwenyezi Mungu. Malaika wako watakatifu watulinde na kututakaze. Tutakaze familia ya ndugu yetu Moses. Familia yake na kijiji kizima. Tunaomba Mwenyezi Mungu uwape maono mapya akutazama Calvary. Asante Mwenyezi Mungu kwa serikali ya Kenya iliyokubali mipango hii ya kurekebishwa kwa njia zingine ambaye zinatumia haki zinatumia uwezo wa kugusa akili na saikolojia ya mwanadamu e Mwenyezi Mungu uwabariki Maafisa hawa wamejitolea kumsindikiza ndugu kaa mbele yao katika kazi changamoto za ulimwengu waepushe ili neno lako lizidi kuwa pamoja nao kwa kila jambo kwa kila siku na kwa kila tendo tunaombea pasta pia anapohusika katika kumlea ndugu yetu Moses katika maisha ya jaa mupe nguvu na kanisa lote kwa jumla utupe nguvu ya kusafiri naye bila ubaguzi wala bila kinyongo Mwenyezi Mungu unajua yaliyo mema kwa maisha yetu utupe kulingana na mapenzi yako maana tumeomba tukiwa na imani katika jina la Kristo uliye mkombozi wetu Thank you Tumefika mwisho wa kibindi hiki na naomba tuweze kuketi tuendelee kulipokea neno la Bwana